Hi, and welcome to the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Shelley Whitehead. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love that you watch us and keep up on what's going on in your community. Stick around today. It's going to be a great opportunity. If this past week has been really hard for you and you want to get somewhere warm, we're going to give you some great donate location ideas, as well as a, a recap of what Bremer Bank has been doing and, and helping the community. So stay with us as we go for that. We do want to remind you that when you do watch us right here on Charter Channel, you get to see us six days a week. But if for some reason you can't catch us there, you can always find us on the internet. We are on YouTube as well as blip.tv and Facebook. If you like us on Facebook, we do upload the most recent episode right to your news feed so you don't have to look very far. It's right there ready for you to see what's going on in your area. We are also always looking for ideas, something that new for that maybe we've never seen here on the show and that's going on in your life. You'd like to have us do a show on that. All you have to do is give Leanne Alt a call. She's at 390-5751 or you can send us an email at oatanatoday at charter.net and tell us what's going on. We'll see what we can do to get you on the air. Please stay with us. We will be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm Dr. Beth Giltfett of Horizon Eye Care Professionals. Eye care you can trust. We're proud supporters of Owatonna Today. I needed more than just another dead-end job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. With the kids off to college, I decided it was time for me to go back to work and express myself. Express got me in touch with some really great companies. Now I'm on my way to a great career. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. And we're back with the Oatana Today Show. I do have with us, um, I have Dave Marcoux. I want to thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm Dave Marcoux. I'm the president of Bremer Bank here in Oatana. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been living here since uh, this past June with my wife, Michonne. I've been married 26 years now. We have two beautiful daughters. My oldest just moved back from Kansas City, Missouri. Took a new job up in St. Paul, so uh, we're excited to have her a little bit closer, spent the holidays with us, oh, and, nice. and then uh, my little one Kayla is a uh, sophomore at the, at the U of M. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Good, good. So you've kind of started settling into Owatonna. Um, Bremer's been a presence here for about, we talked a year and a half, but you, you've been here for almost two and a half years. I have, yeah. I, I started um, just about a year before we opened the bank. The bank opened uh, a year ago this past October, Halloween, and um, I came to town just about a year before that to start building relationships, getting to know the community, um, building a team, hiring a team, finding a location for the bank, those types of things. Why was that important for Bremer to make sure that your presence, even that early, it didn't, you know, just didn't slap a building together and show up? Why was it important to yeah. foster that relationship? Well, banking is is very much of a, a relationship-based business. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the one thing when you start a new bank, you don't have any customers. <laughs> and everybody that that comes to you has been doing business with somebody else mm -hmm. and has built relationships with somebody else. So there's an element of trust involved in it. There's an element of credibility. And, and um, so it's important to become part of the community and, and demonstrate that you're, you're vested and uh, that you care about uh, what you're doing and um, that you're going to fulfill your, the promises that you make to people. So. Well, it seems to me that Bremer also has, from the get-go, has a very, uh, is very interested in making, investing in the community. And one of those things that, that we've talked about before is, of course, the Otto Bremer Foundation. Right. And this is one of the things that we're going to talk about today is, is what has happened in this past year. But I'm imagining that one year that you had ahead of time also allowed you to see what needs there were in the community and, and how Bremer could come in and help. It does. It, uh, you know, that first year was really all about learning, learning about the community, learning a whole lot of names of people <laughs> that I, I didn't know before and, um, and building a reputation. So um, as the Otto Bremer Foundation came in and, and started making grants in the community, they went through very much of, of a similar process. There are um, program officers that, that work for the Otto Bremer Foundation who um, come out and, and visit with the organizations that have submitted grant applications. So, so it's really not just a matter of uh, taking an application, pile of applications and saying yes, no. Mm -hmm. They want to really understand the community. They want to understand what the needs are. 
they want to understand the, uh, the organizations that they're making grants to to make sure that they're well run and, and that, um, you know, that they have a clear mission and, and those types of things. Mm -hmm. So um, so really a lot of that took place the, the first year. The, the uh, program officers came out and visited community leaders. They visited leaders of nonprofits. Um, independent of anything that I was doing, mm -hmm. they just set these calls up and uh, made the introductions and, and learned about the community so that when they started getting applications, uh, they were able to make informed, intelligent decisions and that hopefully address the, the, the biggest needs of the community. Let's talk about the foundation itself because it's a pretty unique foundation in the yes. area because of the way it's, it's connected with the business. Tell us a little bit about it. So the Otto Bremer Foundation was, was founded in 1940. Four uh, by Otto Bremer. Uh, the, the year prior to that, he formed a bank holding company, the Bremer Bank Holding Company, and in 1944 uh, formed the foundation for the sole purpose of reinvesting the earnings of, of uh, Bremer banks into the communities uh, where Bremer does business. And, and the whole idea there was that if, if he could help build, through the foundation, help build healthy communities, um, there would always be vibrant places for Bremer Bank to do business, mm -hmm. that, that we could make a significant impact on, on our customers and our employees and, and our citizens of the communities. And so that was really the whole purpose of, of the foundation. He transferred ownership of, of the bank holding company to the foundation. So today, um, the Otto Bremer Foundation is 92% uh, owner of Bremer Banks, okay. with the other 8% being held by the employees of Bremer Bank. So uh, the foundation is, they are our owners, um, <laughs> and, uh, and couldn't, uh, couldn't be happier with, so with who is. It's an interesting concept of having a, a charity foundation being owning of, uh, the owner of a bank. It seems it kind is. of topsy-turvy in today's world. Yeah, it's, it's quite unique. And, um, but it's, I think, a, a very effective uh, business model, particularly uh, in the communities where Bremer does business, which are typically communities very much like Oatana, you know, hardworking Midwestern communities with a strong sense of community pride, um, very generous man minded citizens. And um, so the business model works, works well there. The, the, the earnings of the bank are turned over to the foundation in the form of dividends. So 92% of the dividends are turned over to, to the foundation and then they're reinvested in the bank, in the communities where Bremer does business. Mm -hmm. In the form of grants to nonprofit organizations. Mm -hmm. well, let's talk a little bit about what's happened here in Owatonna, because sure. again, you've been talking about uh, has the foundation been giving for the full two and a half years, or about a year and a half has the foundation? Been you know, um, they've been giving for the for the entire time. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, there was uh, they made an announcement as they were coming into uh, Owatonna, went mm -hmm. to Mankato shortly before that, said we're now accepting applications in Owatonna, and they've been um, accepting applications and, and awarding grants really since I got here. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, we had some, some lead grants that were announced at our grand opening uh, a year ago or a year ago this past Halloween. And um, but they, they continue to fund grants um, just as they do across um, the, the, the rest of the Bremer communities and have been since 1944. What states are, is Bremer in? Minnesota, North Dakota, and Wisconsin. Okay. And we're in about 80 different towns, maybe 100 different locations okay. in 80 different towns. Okay, good. So let's talk about specifics again here for Oatana. The one that we've actually talked about a lot here on the Oatana Today Show is the, the grant that was given to the United Way. Right. Let's talk a little bit about that one. Sure. So one of the, the lead grants was to the United Way of, of Steele County, and the purpose of that was to fund a, a strategic plan um, to really identify what, what are the most significant needs of the community and how can the United Way, working in conjunction with their agency partners, really make a, a, a long-standing impact um, on the community by focusing on on those needs that, that um when addressed, can have the greatest impact. And, and figuring uh, what those needs are. Right. Yeah. So, um, so they've they've done a lot of focus group interviews. There's been um, consultants that have um, done some research and help identify the t the needs. But a lot of it has been very grassroots focus group type of things. Uh, there's a very talented board of directors that gets together and reviews these results and is is determining what the direction should be. Um, and uh, and then and, and the, those resources have been used for that. 
Do we uh, have an idea of when that might be done, that process of evaluation? Yeah, we, uh, early th this coming year, early in, in 14, this should be sort of um, understood what, what the key focus areas are, mm -hmm. and then the next piece of that will be to put together the strategies to really address those mm -hmm. needs. Good. What are some of the other grants that you've been able to help out with in Oatana? You know, some of the other grants, uh, the Oatana Public Library, uh, Oatana Community Education, those were two of uh, the other lead grants that were announced. Um, Coda Living Community, brand new uh, living mm -hmm. community out here, and that was used to purchase some uh, equipment to safely uh, transport patients and, and provide more safety for the staff. Mm -hmm. uh, the food shelf, healthy seniors of Steele County, Steele County Transitional Housing, Salvation Army, mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity, Central Cappuccino, uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Southern Minnesota. That was one that was used for the, the program that, that focuses on children of um, parents that are incarcerated at, at right now. Mm -hmm. So um, Southern mm -hmm. Minnesota Initiative Foundation, Advocates for Developmental Disabilities, We Pals, the Otana Foundation, Grandparents for Education, Boys and Girls Club of Blooming Prairie, Blooming Prairie Public Schools, uh, the Women's uh, Resource Center of Steele County, and uh, the Excla uh, Exchange Club uh, Center for Family Unity here in, in Oatana. So. Well, what I'm seeing when you read those off is, is a really wide variety from yes. cradle <laughs> to, you know, senior care, everything. And that's what I think, again, why you stand out is as a community development, because you are trying to reach every part of the community. It's not just a niche. You're not just trying to get the people maybe who have the money. You just really want to help the community. Right. I think that that really uh, speaks to what the foundation, the focus of the foundation is, and is to help build health healthy communities. Mm -hmm. um, their priorities really are in areas that can have the greatest impact in the mm -hmm. community. And as far as the bank goes, um, we focus on um, uh, areas that are in, important to the community as well. So I take a lot of pride in the amount of volunteer hours that my team members put in, out serving on boards and mm -hmm. um, coaching and doing all those things that, mm -hmm. that help the community. So. Well, if anybody wants more information, how can they find it out about the foundation? Uh, the foundation has a, a website, and it is autobremer.org. Mm -hmm. um, or you can call me at the bank, and I'd be glad to visit with you and, and make connections within the foundation. And um, But uh, there's some very talented people that would love to visit with you up at, at the foundation or any of the leaders of the nonprofits if they have an interest. It's really exciting to see what will happen this next year with Bremer and, and helping in the yeah. community. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having yes, me. Yes, and we'll see what's going on. It's good. It's I'm excited to see what will happen. Well, we're very excited to be here, Good. so thank you. Thank you. All right, we will be right back. Please stay with us. Don't let the cold winter weather stop you from exercising. Keep up your fitness program at the West Hills Tennis and Fitness Center. We offer a variety of different membership packages available on daily, monthly, and yearly basis. We also have a variety of programs and services to help the newest of members get started and to help those who have been around for a while improve on what they are doing. The Tennis and Fitness Center participates in insurance reimbursement programs with a variety of different insurance providers that could make you eligible for up to $20 credit each month. For more information about the West Hills Tennis and Fitness Center, call us at 444-4290. Everyone deserves opportunities to have a good life. A quality education that leads to a stable job, enough income to support a family through retirement, and good health. But the reality is, many children fall behind, many families are struggling, and many others are in poor health. United Way's goal is to find long-term solutions. Thanks to a grant from the Otto Bremer Foundation, we're hosting community conversations this year to address these issues. If you'd like to join us, please call our office. Hi, I am Dr. Amy Swain from Amy Swain Hearing Centers, and for more than 20 years I have been helping people hear better. It has been a very rewarding experience, but so many people put off getting help with their hearing. Clients often tell me they wish they had started wearing hearing aids sooner as their quality of life was improved so much with better hearing. Call me today at 1-800-804-3361 for a free hearing test at Amy Swain Hearing Centers of Oatana, Austin, and Waseca. That's 1-800-804-3361, where Dr. Amy Swain wants everyone to hear better. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Brenda with the Mortgage Office of Brenda Bednar, aligned with American Mortgage and Equity Consultants, where closings feel right, right from the beginning. I'm a proud supporter of the Owatonna Today Show. Have you talked to your teen about marijuana lately? Maybe you should. Regular marijuana use can sap a teen's motivation to learn. Users do not live up to their potential and drop out of positive activities. Marijuana affects memory and learning and stays in your system for weeks. Marijuana also affects judgment and perception. Reaction time when driving is reduced by 41% after smoking one joint and 63% after smoking two, affecting the safety of your teen and other drivers on the road. You need to talk to your teen about the effects of marijuana use. It's not just a harmless high. For more information, please contact the Steele County Safe and Drug Free Coalition. And we're back with the Owatonna Today Show. This week has been brutal. Uh, we've survived it. We've come through it maybe a little bit colder than we'd like to. So it's time to warm things up and talk vacation time. Yes. And I have with me here Lynn Ellis. Hi, Lynn. Linda. Linda. I don't know why <laughs> I make things up. Don't listen to me. Linda, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you thank for you having so us. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am working at Parkview Travel, and I have worked there for 14 years. Actually, 15 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> I started out as an EA at the school, and then I worked part-time for the travel office, and now basically my whole job is the travel. Tell us a little, okay, so um, it's such a fascinating thing because we have the internet now, and a lot of people feel like they can go on the internet and they can get an okay vacation, but there are actually really great benefits for working with a travel agency. Tell, let's are, talk a little bit about that. We are there to help you. Mm -hmm. If you find things on the internet, that's great, but... Maybe you want to book it through a travel agent. Mm -hmm. The reason is you always have somebody to come back to. We are there to answer questions. We have taken classes. We became very knowledgeable on destinations. We know some of the destinations are safer than other destinations. We know what to tell you to pack. Mm. We can tell you everything there is usually about any of the destinations. Mm -hmm. And if you buy an airline ticket on the Internet, that's fine. You know, because the airline tickets, are, you can't mess them up too bad. But some people buy them on a website, and then they get to the airport, mm -hmm. they don't have an airline ticket. Mm -hmm. If you buy something through us, you're yeah. guaranteed that you do have a package or a ticket. Yeah, well, and I love what you said, because you can get a really cheap flight to some place, but that might not be a very good destination place. Right. And how would you know that unless you, because they're going to, the place is going to talk about all the great things they have and not and maybe give some of the safety issues that might be there. And, and talking with a travel agency like yours, you actually can get some, some safety ideas, especially down in the Mexico area. It's not always very safe down there. The border towns where the issues are yeah. in Mexico. Yeah. But as far as any of the destinations, you're going to Xtapa or Puerto Vallarta or Cancun or Cozumel, any of those, you're totally safe. Yeah, They're good. totally safe. The, the cruise lines and the travel companies would not let uh -huh. you go to someplace that was not good. safe. Let's talk a little bit about this. So um, it's cold, and we don't want to be cold anymore, so we start thinking warm places. What would you talk to a client when they walk in and they say, I would like to go somewhere warm? What are some of the kind of questions they should be ready to answer? If they're not a usual client, mm -hmm. there's somebody new coming into my office, I would say, have you traveled before? Mm -hmm. Where have you been before? Um, have you done all-inclusive? Have you been to Mexico? Would you like to go to Mexico, Cancun, mm -hmm. maybe, Riviera Maya, Cozumel, Puerto Vallarta? What are you looking for? Are you looking for beautiful beaches? Punta Cana. Mm -hmm. you know, if you're looking for just a place to sit and chill and not be bothered and just relax, there's plenty of beaches to sit and just do that yeah. too. But if you're looking for activities, we know the resorts that have activities. If you're taking your family, there's resorts to take your family. If you don't want to do an all-inclusive, maybe you want to do Disney. What is all-inclusive? Explain what that is. All-inclusive would include all your food, drinks, and entertainment. You would be pampered. Basically, you would not cost you anything extra to stay at the resort other than maybe a little extra in tipping money. Okay. Um, and you guys would explain how much to right, bring and what to do right. for that. You know, because if you're sitting around the pool and you have the same waiter come in day after day mm -hmm. and he knows exactly what you want for a drink, mm -hmm. you're going to want to give him a little extra because he's going to take good care of you. Mm -hmm. Or if you have an excellent maid in your room and she's putting little foo-foos <laughs> and pretty swans on your bed at night. <laughs> the monkey towels. Yeah, the monkey towels yeah. or taking your sunglasses and putting on, on, on swans sitting on your bed. <laughs> you you want to maybe give her a little something extra or him or no. she's working a little extra. Right. Yeah. She's going above and beyond her normal day duty of making the little fun things to make your vacation more fun. Mm -hmm. 
And it depends on if it's a family vacation. If it's a family vacation, you might have children that would like to eat 24-7. <laughs> You might have teenagers, they got a whole the, the hollow leg. Yeah. Right, so the all inclusive is perfect because they can have all the soda they want and they can have all the snacks. They can have a burger if they want a burger. Mm -hmm. They can have a steak if they want a steak if it's dinner time at because most of the Because they don't resorts. have to worry about the price. Of right, them. you don't have to say, oh, gee, tonight we've got to be really reasonable price here. Mm -hmm. We can't spend much. But no, when you're an all inclusive, if they have lobster on their menu, you can have lobster. <laughs> and if you want it twice, you can have it twice. <laughs> what? This is crazy talk. But yeah, that's, that's kind of. Kind of the joy of the all-inclusive resort and another uh, great thing about it is oftentimes you don't have to carry a lot of money so it's you feel a little safer not carrying right. a bunch of money yeah because at an all-inclusive resort all you need is your room key basically and go back and forth to your room otherwise you don't need anything with you you don't need the money to be handing out and paying for bills mm -hmm. as you're going along the way during the day. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit about Disney. I know one of the f great features of Disney, if you stay at one of their resorts, is if you do purchase something, they actually can send it to one of their hotels. Talk right back to a little bit about that. Right back to the resort. They can send it to your... Without How many resorts do they have about, do you know? Quite a few. There's quite a few <laughs> yeah. resorts. I to go off the top of my head, I can't come up with them. But staying on site has a lot of advantages with Disney. And no, you cannot do an all-inclusive there, mm -hmm. but yet you can buy the meal plan and have the meal plan purchase with your Disney product. And you can have either breakfast, you can have lunch, you can have you know full sit-down dinner. There's many different plans out there. And a family taking a Disney vacation, that's the way to do it mm -hmm. because then you know how to plan. You know what you're going to have for dinner. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have the unknown of the extra cost of dinner. Yes, because at the park, you never know where you're going to be. And it's such a big place right. to be able to have that. And recommendations is to make dinner reservations. Okay. Because if there's some place special you want to get into or you want to have a character breakfast, mm -hmm. but you don't have to do it all the time. You can have the counter service at a, at a park when you're there. Mm -hmm. And you can have it any time you want it. If you want it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon or you want it at <laughs> noon, you can have it. You're not set to a schedule uh -huh. to have to be ready to eat. And Disney is doing so many new things now with bracelets. Oh. that they're, they're magic with their way. And you plan your trip ahead of time. You plan having dinner. You plan on having your rides. There's just so many new things coming with Disney. And Carol's just been down there. She's got all the information on it. Well, that's what, again, what you said earlier is, is you can go on the Internet and you can see, but there's so many, it can be almost overwhelming. And so for her to say, okay, let's talk about it. These are your options. Okay, no, immediately know where they want to go. Do you have young kids? Where should you go? Right. Do you have teenagers? Where should, where should you, you go? go? Yep. Yeah. She, she just was down there to experience a whole new issue with the bands. Mm -hmm. So she'll be able to give us total insight on what's going on and how it works and how, what didn't work. It's an experimental procedure right now going okay. with Disney, but it will be coming more and more retro yeah. to everybody to be using it. Nice. And the beaches, if you want to get someplace with a family, mm -hmm. you know, you still got Florida, the beaches, you know, and right now it's not the warmest in Florida <laughs> either, but it's warmer than Minnesota. Yes. <laughs> but you have your choices. You don't have to have a passport. If you are going on a cruise or if you're leaving the country, you do have to have your passport. And that is very important that you allow the six weeks to get your passport. Probably the most warmest place that you could go without a passport would be Hawaii at this point. Right. In Hawaii, we've had a number of people this year book Hawaii. Okay. Because um, it was a very popular destination for a while. Maybe it's kind of trailed off. It seems to be picking up again. Yes, it is picking back up. People forget the little beauties that we have connected with the United mm -hmm. States. And Hawaii is one of them. Uh, we have a family that's going to be going, and they're going to spend two weeks. They're going to do three different islands while they're yeah. going for... And okay. each island is kind of very specific to its own. It's it, They're not all the same. They're very, right. they're very special. Each island, you know, you get the Garden Island, because mm -hmm. it's the rainy and, and more. And you got, you know, going to Kona, you got the volcanoes. Mm -hmm. and you go to Kauai, you've got Waimea Canyon. That's just like the Grand Canyon of the United States, or Arizona, yeah. should yeah. I say. And then you also have, you go to the Big Island, you got Pearl Harbor. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, to Oahu. That historic moment. Yeah. yeah. And, and that that's a must if you go to yeah. Hawaii yeah. to see Pearl Harbor. Just to be able to connect with the history that way. But you talked about, I love that you talked about Hawaii because um, you do have, I know it's a little cold to think about it now, but Alaska is an amazing destination, and I know right. you've got an informational meeting coming up that you want to talk about. We do. We have an informational meeting coming up on August 21st. It's going to be over at Senior Center, mm -hmm. uh, down in the boardroom, and we will be filling everybody in on the Alaska tour coming up. 
and it will be in July of 2014. Okay, so so the, the, the meeting itself is this January. Yeah, the meeting is January 21st at, at 2, 2 p.m. It's a but, wonderful tour. Yeah, yeah. Leanne's been on this. Yeah, so Leanne has she, been with me to Alaska. She can tell you all about it, too. And part of it's just the awesome nature that you see when you're yes, up there. The, but the, you're also, you use princess cruises. I want to mention that because you're talking about how that in and of itself is one of the best cruise lines to go It is on. one of the top cruise lines. Yeah. Because you get treated like you said, like a queen, like a queen. Yep. Who doesn't want to be treated like a queen? You get pampered <laughs> very much with Princess yeah. Cruise Line, yeah. and we, Carol and I, are both commodores with the cruise line. Mm-hmm. So we have taken all the classes. We know the ins and outs of Princess Cruise Line. Any question could ever happen. Anything you can Good. think of, we can probably find the answer for well, you. Well, and someone just—I want to say really quick—someone just walked out the door, and he said, "You need to always have something on your calendar to look forward to, so you can turn that next page." So if you don't have a, a trip plan and you'd like to contact them over there and, and ask for Linda specifically and she can help you out with that. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Really appreciate it. All right. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Jake with Napa Auto Parts. Napa has the know-how for all your automotive needs. Napa is a proud supporter of the OATAN Today Show. United Way of Steel County is all about a safety net in times of crisis. A strong, safe, healthy community. Advancing the common good. Supporting all people in times of need. Families have financial stability and independence. Improving the health of community members. Please join us and all Jastin's employees by giving generously, advocating for a better quality of life, and volunteering your time to a partner agency. We all win when we live united. Usually at the top of every Friday show, we read off our supporters, and I was obviously frozen brain. So what we're going to do is read them now, because these people are so important to our show and making things come to your doorstep. Knowing now a little bit more about why travel agents is so much more important than maybe just going online, these are things that we bring to you, and these sponsors have made this happen. So we'd like to thank them. We're going to start off with our premier supporters. They are the City of Oatana Express Employment Professionals, Oatana Public Utilities, Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steel County, and United Way of Steel County. Thank you to those companies for stepping up and saying they'd like to be a part of the Oatana Today Show. Also, our primary supporters, they are Amy Swain Hearing Centers and Little Theater of Oatana. Thank you to them. And then, of course, we couldn't do it without our interlude supporters. They are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Brenda Bednar Mortgage, Glenn Meager and Tim Thomas of the Brick Meager Funeral Home and Medford Funeral Home, Carlson Branstad and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals, Clancher and Sun Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Service, Owatonna Business Incubator, Profinium Financial, R&K Electric, Snap Fitness, Steel County Historical Society, Steel County Transitional Housing, The Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. Please, if you like what you see here on the Oatana Today Show, go into these companies and let them know you saw their name on here and then give them your business because they've helped you become a little bit more educated about what's going on in your community. If you are a business and would like to be a part of it, you can always send us an email at oatanatoday at charter.net or give Leanne Alta a call at 390-5751 and let us know that you'd like to be a part of this great show we have. And then also Leanne will give you all the details on what that would take for you. Thank you so much for joining us. We love that you're a part of Oatana Today. And we will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend.